In three minutes or less, we need to know that B12 is an important, crucial factor in protein synthesis in the body, in neurological development, in numerous energy production pathways in the body. So B12 is needed by everybody, for everything. There is not even one uh, physiological need that does not involve B12 on one way or another because it's involved in replication of DNA and the production of different enzymes in the body. So we all need B12 in larger amounts than we get it. When I do tests in my clinic, I see that many people are deficient or insufficient. The numbers that are given to us by the laboratories are misleading. A lot of recent studies and recent books have indicate that we need a much greater amount than is being told as normal by the laboratory tests that we take. There are some tests that are better than others and most people are not aware of which ones they are, but most of them indicate only severe depletion instead of insufficiency or dysfunction. And the fact is almost everybody today is deficient in B12. Not just vegans, not just vegetarians, meat eaters, in fact one of the subgroups and there are nine or ten different groups of people who are going to be deficient in B12 today and uh, vegetarians are only one out of those ten groups. One of those groups is in fact people who eat a lot of meat. If you eat a lot of meat you'll have a severe deficiency or a risk for deficiency of B12 because of the heaviness and the requirements for significant amount of stomach acids to digest the meat and to make it possible to in fact obtain the B12 from it. But if you hear the teleseminar where we're going to cover in depth all the different physiological biochemical aspects of B12 and all the different groups of people who are likely to be deficient in it because of digestive disorders, because of genetics, because of environmental factors, drug use, um, and other factors that affect B12 absorption, assimilation, utilization and also there are some surprises as to where else we get B12 besides food uh, which I would love to share with you but it's not enough for three minutes then you understand how important and how impactful the cancer of B12 is and how so many of us need to take B12 as a supplement because in today's environment, today's diet, we cannot simply rely on it, not with our current digestive tract, and therefore take your B12 supplements, regardless of what your diet is like, regardless of whether you're a vegetarian or meat eater, take your B12 supplements and make sure it's methylcobalamin and make sure that it is sublingual because otherwise it might not be absorbing. Please come to the teleseminar.